In 2020, the world witnessed the worst tragedy the Brazilian Pantanal has ever faced. Nearly 30% of the biome was lost to unprecedented fires. The images of animals burnt alive, of the completely devastated landscape, of traditional people who once experienced a land of abundance going hungry in face of drought and fire, both accidental and criminal, left the world appalled. The tragedy was followed by a wave of solidarity. Volunteers who traveled thousands of kilometers to fight the flames, to support local communities and to give food and water to the animals that were still alive. Amidst the volunteers were four women from different backgrounds and locations but who shared a love for nature. With hard work, passion, and a lot of help from our friends, we soon became known for making things happen. Through a crowdfunding campaign, we channeled people's wishes to do something, and supported by their generosity, we started a project to help conserving the Pantanal. We bought and distributed firefighting equipment to local communities, including a water truck to assist with firefighting and a boat to help rescue injured fauna. We distributed food supplies and drinkable water to traditional communities and we invested massively in what we believe will be the long-term solution to protect the biome, environmental education. We produced educational material to teach communities and visitors about the biodiversity that exists in Pantanal. We used creativity and poetry to give voice to this species through a series of children's books that discuss the threats we pose to them. We gave youth the opportunity to embark on jaguar watching tours so they too could be enchanted by the surrounding wildlife, a privilege that before was only available to wealthy tourists. But as months went by and the Pantanal stopped being featured in the main news channels, people started to forget about the consequences of the drought and fires and it became harder and harder to continue working without financial support. And then the SCLA fund opportunity came up and now, with the University of Cambridge's support, we will be able not only to continue our educational efforts with communities, but to expand them. In the next 18 months, our crew, which is now composed of 11 volunteers, will travel to other parts of Pantanal, distributing knowledge, educational materials, and hope to the many inhabitants of this magical land. More importantly, we will work closely with science teachers from public schools in both states, Mato Grosso and Mato Grosso do Sul, so they too can explain to a much larger number of children the importance of keeping this biome alive. We will expand our hands-on experience program, inviting more than a hundred children to look into a jaguar's eyes, to hear the calls of giant otters, and to watch the synchronized flight of dozens of great white egrets as they leave their nesting sites. We are extremely grateful to the Samsung Conservation Leadership Alumni Fund for giving us the opportunity to carry on, for embarking on this mission and adventure with us. Thank you. Obrigada.